Would you believe it? The second I get out of the van, it starts bleeding raining. <laughs> you can see inside. There's not a lot in there. It's, it's a bit random and stuff in there, but... Well, hello and welcome to another one. Um, yes, I'm sat in my van at the moment. Uh, I've just driven down this little tiny spit of land. Uh, well, it's a road really, it's not even land. And there's a, I'm at Barrow Lifeboat Station. I've just seen the sign over there and the lifeboat station's in front of me. Um, yeah, very weird. I actually come to the end of the road. Uh, there is no more road. I've literally come to the end of the road and beyond me is dropping into the estuary, into the sea. Uh, there's nothing left. Um, there is a little light out, there is a little, um, an island out there that I think you can walk to from the other side uh, on a very low tide. I don't want to be doing that, but on that there's a castle and a couple of houses by the looks of it, which is a really remote, random place to be living if that's the case. Um, yeah, I'm near Barrow and Finesse. Like I say, I'll put a map up and show you where I am. I'm on this tiny little strip of road with this little plot of land, you know, this little plot at the bottom of it, this little plonk of land where there's some houses and some boats and boat yards and things. Um, I'm going to park up, I think, for the night down here. Um, I should be all right in the car park. I've got a sunset going on, which will be quite interesting. As I come along the road, um, I see this, there's this tower. Uh, this little tower which is quite cool it's it's got some history behind it um I'll, I'll put the name of it up on the screen for you in a little photograph that i've taken on my phone Would you believe it? The second I get out of the van, it starts bleeding raining. <laughs> now I've got my wellies on anyway. The sun's in and out behind them clouds. I mean, it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty moody in all fairness. The sky is pretty awesome. Uh, there's another bit of a little boat wreck down there. There's a, there's a few on these sort of mud flaks, but I expect, you know, you get some bad weather and that this place is, it's probably bonkers when you've got some, the tide in and the weather's blowing the wave, the water on the waves across the top of this lot. Uh, I bet you get all sorts of little boat wrecks everywhere. I know there's a couple down here in the mud that I've seen as well, but the sky's awesome, but I don't know where it's gonna light this wreck up. But I'm gonna have a little walk down here anyway and have a look at it. And uh, just to get myself a bit of a record shot, if nothing else, it's just a random, random wreck. But I can't believe the second I got out of the van it started raining. God, oh, jeez. I can see that little tower from here as well, right over there in the distance. Ooh, she's a bit nippy. But, <laughs> I'm a bit open and exposed. So I've taken one to start off with, just uh, with the two boats in, come down on the shore. So I'm out the wind a little bit now, uh, and the boat's right in front of me. So I'm just gonna move myself in a position where I can just concentrate on the one wreck and maybe have no buildings behind it. But in that first photograph, that's gonna come up on the screen now, you'll see that I've caught the little life boy thing, the life, 
raft, whatever it's called, um, and the little tower in the background. But now I just want this one particular boat, this wreck, on its own with some sky and stuff in it. So by coming down low, it gives me the opportunity to put the sky in it. And at least, excuse me for snotting, at least it stopped raining. But the sky's got such a lovely, lovely colour to it. Not there it has anyway. <laughs> Where I'm, I am at the moment isn't. But yeah, it's a, it's a shipwreck at the end of the day. Polarizer's on because it's going to try and get as much out of the sky as I possibly can. Uh, polarizer does really make a difference. Um, if I was to spring the camera around and down a little bit, you'll see that the polarizer is at the front there and I can just spin that round. And uh, it's, a, it's a Maven filter, if you're interested. It's a Maven polarizer, it's a blue one, and it just magnetizes to the front. But yeah, I just spin it round you know, the focus on the boat. I don't really need to bracket this, to be honest. I'm going to knock the bracketing off because it's just a waste of photographs. And two second timer, shipwreck done. Make it gritty and grungy, make it all nice and shiny, you know, not shiny, but uh, add the contrast to it, add the clarity to it and make it look gritty and uh, old. I wouldn't mind walking out and having a look on the back of it because the back of the boat's actually missing, but I don't fancy getting my feet in the mud because I've got my wellies and they get really mucky when I get back into the van then. But yeah, first one is done. I'm just going to move around a little bit more and try and get a bit more of this uh, nice looking I don't know if I can zoom you around there, but just, just look at the sky going on up there. It's just insane sky, that is. If that was behind this, it would be bonkers. I mean, I could probably walk across this grass and maybe shoot that way, but then I've got this bank, haven't I, which is, I need it to go into the open air. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, this is all right. It's not a bad shot. It's got some nice sky in it. The sky is pretty nice, in all fairness. So, I don't see why it's not going to work. It's just... The sky over there is even better. Uh, but yeah, I do love shipwrecks and things like that. So if you know of a shipwreck, let me know in the comments where, where they are and uh, drop me a line and I'll uh, come and visit. But that sky is bonkers. Why can't I get some of that over here? Actually, it's going over there. So I'm gonna go back around the other side because it's now behind it. It's looking pretty good. boy thing I don't know what it is it's uh I think it's one of those ones you have on like the um, oil rigs here she is look I'm right up to it let me see inside there's not a lot in there it's, it's a bit random and stuff in there but it's pretty cool to be honest this is one of those things that would drop off the side of a an oil rig I think something like that got a big hook on it and a little window at the top I'll take that but yeah that's a uh, Pretty, pretty bonkers thing to be just lying around on the beach, isn't it? And obviously it's got graffiti on it, but you know, what hasn't these days? Okay, so with the light fading, I think it's time to make a retreat back to the van. And uh, I think I might come back in the morning. I might see what time high tide is and come back and have a look and have a look and see what's going on. There's also another, see some, there's something just down here as well. That's uh, obviously a wreck that's been there even longer. So yeah, I'm going to get myself back up onto the road now and walk back along the road. Um, but yeah, some random, uh, some random stuff, eh? Especially that orange thing. I mean, that's cool, that is. Yeah, it's cool. So yeah, I'm going to turn the camera off and I'll probably see you in the morning, I would have thought, once I found myself a bit of a park up that's out the wind. The one thing about park, I can park down there next to those, next to that marina. But the problem with parking next to a marina and having all the sails 
all the uh, masts and the uh, guidelines and the rigging. Um, the problem with the rigging is the rigging taps against the side of the boats at night, against the mast. I used to do a bit of sailing and the one thing I remember from being in a harbour and stuff like that is you get that tink, 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 that constant noise and the wind wailing through the mast. And, uh, and yeah, I don't fancy that all night. <laughs> so I'm going to go and try and find somewhere quiet and come back in the morning. See you then. Oof. it's a bit on the windy side. Uh, I thought we'd get up this morning and I'd come for a walk down to the lifeboat station and lucky enough as I did because there's a lovely scene going on in front of me of um, some marker points out on the spit and uh, the sun behind it uh, is causing sun rays and you can see the hills in the sun rays which is really quite nice. Uh, so yeah, a very minimal, very simple shot but with a little bit of atmosphere and character with the layers in the in the sky and the little bit of a gap in the background that you can just see some light rays going on uh, and I'm trying to catch some birds as well as they fly through I've gone to ISO 400 so it picks the shutter speed up a little bit and if I can get a little bird flying through I'm going to capture the bird going over the top of it and I've just started to make out there's a boat in the background as well which is pretty cool uh, so there's a little bit going on in the image but it's about the light rays really more than anything um, so yeah way off in the distance um, the canals look quite cool over there I didn't get up for sunrise had a bit of a lie in uh, I've seen another one out there there's another marker point out there these little these little metal frames that are out in the sea uh, that carry the the lights for boats and stuff uh, but yeah it's uh, it's windy it's definitely windy and it's quite uh, quite chilly as you can see I've got me me warm hat on and I've also got me hat up to stop the wind in my ears because yeah it's a little bit biting but that's quite a nice that's quite a nice scene and as it just changes slightly, I just take another one because the rays are obviously moving across the sky very, very slowly and pointing in slightly different directions. Guys around here, just behind us down there. You come round the give, you, give us a wave now, wouldn't you? <laughs> hey, we're, on, we're on, we're on, we're on, yeah, we're on. He just come round the corner and said, "Hey, up London, take care." I said, "Yeah, yeah, I was born, I was born in London, blah blah blah." And just got talking. He's he's from London as well. And just got talking about it and that. And he just said about you know, oh, he looks like you're taking photographs. I said, "Oh, I've got a YouTube channel, blah blah blah." So I give him a card, give me a card. Hey, up compo, you know, you know. But yeah, cool. Really, really cool. It's always nice to meet some new people. So hello, if you're watching. And uh, yeah, drop me a comment, say hi underneath. Um, yeah, the light now is gone. It's fading away. Funny enough, I was chopped in and it disappeared. But I managed to get a couple, I think, with some nice light rays in. Um, and I think it looks quite quite interesting for a, for a non-interesting shot, if you know what I mean. Uh, what I did come down here for, originally I came down here to try and get a picture of the, uh, the Lifebuoy um, station. Uh, and... Uh, yeah, sort of like a long exposure and smooth the water out. But I'm not sure if I can get in a position that it works. I'll, uh, I'll have a look and see and see. Um, if not, there's, there's got to be something else I can catch just before. Um, yeah, yeah, there's got to be something else I can get. moved over and look over that side on down the other side of the, the lifeboat station to see if there was anything of interest on that side and uh, I've just taken a picture and I'm going to put the picture up on the screen as I'm talking you can actually see Blackpool Tower in it so that gives you an idea of where I am uh, you can see right over the the sea the estuary or wherever you want to call it and you can see Blackpool Tower over in the distance which I I found quite quite fascinating actually quite cool 
Uh, but then I've come back over the other side because the light rays have changed again and I've got another section of photographs with light rays in going from a wider expanse with both of you know like the, the like a, almost like a, um, a triangle shape with the light coming both sides and now it's changing more of a directional uh, and I'm still waiting for birds to fly through but the birds seem to be ignoring me at the moment and you don't seem to want to be flying through uh, because that's the little bit that just adds to the photograph and that makes the photograph from a good photograph you know that looks nice to something that's pretty special um, and as the light rays are shrinking I'm gradually zooming in and getting slightly slightly tighter um, again all very similar images and I don't I keep telling myself I want to take less and less images and concentrate on one better one but then it's changing all the time and I can't help myself so yeah the annoying thing is I get home and I've got loads that are very similar but they've all got something slightly different about them um, as you'll notice as I put them up they're all just a little bit different and each one's got some bit of character see there's we're starting to get stripes now in the sky instead of a light ray it's getting like stripes so it's different again so do you scrap the early ones and just keep the last ones or do you do you keep them all you know I don't know if I was to get a bird fly through now then that's boom that's the keeper that's that's the keeper or you can use a program like you know Luminar Neo I suppose and add some add some birds to it <laughs> which is cheating I know but or if I caught birds on an earlier shot can I add them to it and use them you know I mean that's semi cheating isn't it I mean, the sky is beautiful now. I must admit, the sky over there is, is getting really, really nice. Actually, it's got nice all over the place. The grey clouds seem to be disappearing. Uh, but those light rays, amazing. Amazing, godly rays. were to finish off and get another couple of pictures of the wreck now the sun's coming out they might actually be lit up a little bit uh, you can see me van is over there I did actually spend the night right parked underneath the boat even though I said I wasn't going to uh, but once the windows were closed and I was inside I couldn't really hear them so I didn't have a bad night's sleep it was all right but windy every time I did open the door oh, you could hear it blowing and hailing and doing what it was doing so yeah uh, not a bad little spot to spend the night next to some boats but yeah a bit blustery now i've come down here i don't think it's uh it was worth coming down to be honest uh, i've taken a couple of pictures of the little tiny boats that are obviously stuck out in the mud um, but this this particular shot i don't think really it is worth it um I've got a better shot, I think, already yesterday, so I don't think I'm going to bother taking any. Uh, I've taken a quick one of the little tower over in the distance, um, but other than that, yeah, it's, it's no different. It's backlit, it's sidelit. It, yeah, I think I did, did, did okay with the ones you've already seen earlier on. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pack my camera away. So the camera's been put away and I'm done. I'm going to climb back up into the wind and I'm heading over the other side. I didn't take any pictures of that because it wasn't any better than what it was last night. It was just it was just a thought that the sun might shine on it a bit different, but it obviously didn't. So, yeah, nothing special. Now, later on, I'm going to be heading back onto the, or oh, say the mainland, but back round. And I'm going over the other side of the island. So the island we saw at the end there, by the lighthouse station, I'm going to the land on that other side. If I can find somewhere to park, I will. I'm going to go for a walk along the beach. I don't believe there was anything there whatsoever. Anything. But, nevertheless, I'm going to go over there and have a look. 
and this wind is blowing sideways across me. I'm actually walking sideways. I suppose it's open, isn't it? So yeah, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Maybe give us that thumbs up appreciation. Maybe check out my Patreon page as well. Uh, I've got a lovely little Patreon for you where I keep you up to date daily. Well, not daily, but very up to date to where I am and what I'm doing and locations and things. And even what three words to where my tripod is. So yeah, the support is much appreciated. Till next time, ciao for now, see you soon, and uh, ciao.